Hello everyone, so this is the kit that we're going to try out and I tried it on this hand. I didn't have much success. I'm not very good at water marbling, but I kind of like the way this one came out. Um, this one I tried to put some silver on there because it was a big blob. This one I kind of like. It's like not all of it is there and then this one I do like and here. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to see if this works and if I do any better. I started off with warm water. I guess it was too warm because when I do room temperature water it doesn't really work out for me. And I have the green kit and it comes with its own mini chrome polish which I have one coat on and their chrome is called chrome base. There's a darker green and a lighter green. This first one here is looks like ultramarine. I can't even tell. Why don't I just read the front of the box? <laughs> ultramarine applique and then the yellow one is sunset yellow applique. I believe that word is applique. I don't know. Or applique applique or applique I guess I need to go back to bed and the lighter one is ivy so we're gonna see how this goes and like I said pardon me because my water marbling skills are not good I do think that when I tried just one drop of each one it worked out better I've got this little cup right here because I couldn't find my paper cups so it does appear to be spreading okay. I was kind of worried about that. And I forgot to do one thing. Oh, also I don't want to screw the cap on there, do I? Okay, so I put this on rather sloppily as you can see. And we're going to do this again. And as I said, the colors were spreading out in the water very nicely. And as I also said, I am not very good at this. So I'm just going to put one of each drop in there. It was my intent not to buy big bottles of these, but if this is what I'm going to be doing with this, I probably better. Because these little things will go fast. My first few attempts at trying to do this, I'd say I wasted about 12 drops of polish per bottle. And I do think that it turns out a little bit better when I only use one of each color as opposed to trying to do like like with regular water marbling. So we're going to see how this turns out. And I don't really have a precise pattern to draw in here. I'm just going to draw something in here but I do think it works a lot better when I use one of each color here so we're gonna find out and as I said my water marbling skills leave a lot to be desired <laughs> well that wasn't too bad so we're gonna try that again I just need a better setup for water marbling I think. I got this hand so messy that I'm working with the opposite hand. This time I'm going to change the order of the colors that I put in here because I kind of didn't do that with my other hand. I kind of did the same order. Now with this liquid latex I have on my hand here, the cleanup wasn't like it didn't lessen it any but it wasn't as bad I will say because I still had to go through here with polish remover but I do find that I can't really draw a lot of whatever it is I'm trying to draw in here let's see try that one I'm going to pick this up. And I think. So the patterns are turning out a little better. 
than they were for me before. So let's see. Okay, now here's the thumb. We'll do one more and then I'll stop there and we will pull this off of here. I wanted to try to attempt to do a spiral in this. I don't find that this pushes around as easy as regular polish does. But like I said again, I have not been doing a lot of water marbling. But this is turning out better than it has for me in the past because before I just made a big old mess so yeah that's turned out a lot better now we're gonna let this dry and I'm gonna take this off of here okay so here's the kit I put everything back in the box I'm gonna try to I put everything back in the box and this is how each finger turned out. So it definitely turned out a little bit better on this hand, but I still struggle with this stuff. So we're going to see. And see, I've got this stuff all over the place. I do want to try now that I know there's other ones out there and nail polish companies that have these. So this is about what my cleanup would look like. This one's a little bit neater, but see, I'd have to clean under there. So this helps. And I have found that I can definitely use this with water. But because I forgot to do this beforehand, I kind of made a mess with it. A huge mess. But it still beats using a lot of tape. That's the one thing I didn't like about the water marbling for me. The tape made it uncomfortable. But like this is what all I'll have to clean up so it's not bad this stuff is like you can use it in water so that is one thing I've learned I just still need to apply it better so that's what that looks like for right now all right so this is what this looks like so far turn that radio off and I've tried to clean up under here a little bit but I'm gonna try some more but I'm not going to leave this on, but I will definitely do this more to get some practice. I want to try to use some of my China Glaze colors and see how that turns out. But not bad if I was going to leave it on there, I suppose. But I kind of like a little more uniformity. And I want to do a water marbling that I can stamp over. But I do like how this turned out. And for me, this is about the best water marbling I've ever done. <laughs> because my water marbling was that bad. So I am pleased with how this was. And I needed to do like way more cleanup here. But that was it. Um, if any of you have these kits, let me know. I've only got um, two. I believe there were only two. It was this one, which I thought I was going to use first, and another one, but I ended up using this one. And then it has this on the back, so that's what made me say I gather that maybe one of each color is the best thing to do. And I'll try this again using one of the greens and a yellow and see about stamping over that. But until the next time, everyone have a great evening.